How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Dog TV. We have a lot in store for you guys this week. But first, we are going to send it over to Kasten, who has the question of the week. How's it going, guys? This week's question of the week is, who's your favorite wrestler? If you stay around long enough, you'll see Mr. Sims and Mr. Shirley answer the question. Make sure you come back next week for another one. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Ultimate Warrior. Uh, my favorite wrestler was The Undertaker. Rey Mysterio. Greatest wrestler of my generation was Stagger Lee. And I know you're thinking, who's Stagger Lee? Well, he was the junkyard dog with a mask on. YouTube it. Trust me, he's out there. Stagger Lee. Two of them. The junkyard dog and George the Animal Steel. Stone Cold. You know what you need business? Undertaker. That's so funny. I used to watch wrestling all the time when I was little, but I have to say my favorite wrestlers are the Bella Twins. Do you have any favorite wrestlers? I'm going to be honest, I never watch wrestling. All right, now on to Sports Dakota. Congrats to our basketball teams on a great season. Hopefully we're still rolling through playoffs. This week, softball and baseball will finally open up on Friday, so good luck and have a great season. The boys take on Southwest Covenant and our girls take on Geronimo. To update you a track, we're going to have J.C. Morris with us. J.C., thank you for joining us. So what, in, what events in track do you do? I throw shot put in discus. What's the furthest you can throw? Uh, about 90 in discus and about 30 in shot put. So you're in powerlifting in FCCLA too. How do you manage your time to be in both of those? Very chaotically. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Have good luck with your season. Thank you, JC and Dakota. We wish softball, baseball, and track the best of luck in their seasons. You all are going to do amazing things, and make sure you guys find and pick out those little moments of joy every moment because it'll be gone before you know it. And now it's time for the weather report for this week. Pretty sure it's supposed to be beautiful, but Marcella, what's it look like? The weather for this week and next week will be in the high 60s to mid 70s with little to no rain chances. However, it will be windy, so I would suggest bringing a sweater because it might be a little chilly. Thank you, Marcella. I do believe the first day of spring is March 19th, so I'm super excited for that. I have to say, spring has to be one of my favorite seasons because it's when everything is in bloom and you start to see all the trees blossoming, and it's just wonderful. What about you, Addie? I've been really enjoying the warmer weather, and I'm glad it's not going anywhere. Let's see what Caden and Carson have for us today. What's up? We're back, and today we got some facts for y'all. Alright? Did you know that Australia is wider than the moon? Never heard of that. Australia? Australia? Uh, did you know headphones can increase the bacteria in your ears? I mean, that one makes sense. It does. Yeah. Scotland chose a unicorn as its national animal. Avocados are not vegetables. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> All right, this one. The Eiffel Tower gets taller in the summer. How? Because, like, hot summer, the metal expands. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Did you know human teeth are the only part of the body that can't heal themselves? Yeah, that's why we've got to replace them. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a cloud weighs around a million tons. <laughs> did you know that one? I don't think that tastes about tons. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, did you know giraffes are 30 times more likely to get hit by lightning than human? I mean, yeah, they're about like 30 feet tall than us. So. <laughs> these, are just, these are just common sense. But... Only a couple. Identical twins don't have the same fingerprints. It's two different people. Yeah, it's a fact. <laughs> Did you know Earth rotation is changing speed? Uh, wouldn't we, like, be changing speed then? We're moving at like, millions of miles per hour right now. Well, what if we were moving at billions? Then we'd probably be dead. All right. Do you know your brain is constantly eating itself? You're dying as we speak. Yeah. 
All right, there's your facts. Thank you guys. I didn't know a lot of those facts. Me neither. But now it's time for Lainey, who has a special guest interview for us. This week we're here with Kayla Pearson, and she's been really active in FFA, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so right now we're pretty much just getting ready for uh, the county show next weekend, and then after that we'll go into OIE and show up there. Um, I'm super excited because I think we've got a really good set throughout all of the kids this year. Uh, Kennedy's been doing really good with hers, I've been doing good with mine, so I'm excited about that. And then we've got some contests coming up for CDs and LDs, we've got speech contests coming up. Sounds so we'll very getting, busy. Yeah. We'll we heard just busy. a few minutes ago that you won a scholarship. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I got the WLC scholarship to go to Washington, D.C. with FFA. And uh, pretty much just like it's a bunch of kids from across the country going to Washington, D.C. and like learning more about our country. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. Thanks so much for joining us this week. Back to y'all. Thank you, Lainey and Kaylee. Today, we have another special guest joining us with Brooklyn. So let's go see who it is. This week, I'm here with a guy that runs Dog TV, keeps everything going, the one and the only, Hank Hinthorne. What up, y'all? So, Hank, tell us how it is being behind the scenes and never having to embarrass yourself on Dog TV. Honestly, I'm just like really relaxed and comfortable, never stressed out like the rest of these fellows in here, and uh, it's light work. Um, how does it feel to be the king of Dog TV, Hank? Feels amazing, man. I run this joint. I'm not gonna lie. How does it feel to constantly have to edit out Carson and Caden's bloopers every week? Oh, I love it. I want to keep the bloopers in, but uh, Coach Schmidt won't let us keep them in most of the time. Okay. Thanks for being with us, Hank. Thank you. That's so exciting. For announcements, the newsletter will be posted soon, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. And to make up for the snow day a few weeks ago, we will be in school on Friday, April 26th. We want to give a special shout out to Minko alumni, Chance Singleton. He graduated in 2019 and spent a year in Africa as part of the National Guard. While there, he made the OSU honor roll, and let's give him a warm welcome back. That's all we have for you today. We'll see you next week.